गुड मॉर्निंग लेट वी डिस्कस कंज्यूमर थ्योरी एंड इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द यूटिलिटी अप्रोच दैट इज कार्डिनल एंड आर्डिनल कॉन्सेप्ट वेन वी टॉक ऑफ कंज्यूमर थ्योरी वी मीन कंज्यूमर वन हु कंज्यूम्स गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज विच कैन बी ड्यूरेबल सेमी ड्यूरेबल पैरिशेबल and the transaction takes place in the market that is sale and purchase of these goods and services given the prices and income which have important role and yes from the purchases made the consumer wants satisfaction from the spending so simply consumer theory is nothing but the consumer behavior the demand pattern in the market given the prices and the income the approach of utility utility is nothing but the want satisfying power from the goods and services it is measured as total utility that is total satisfaction from first second first unit consumed second unit third unit so total satisfaction is total utility and marginal utility means marginal satisfaction that is additional satisfaction that is if two units are consumed then the satisfaction from the second one is marginal utility so utility can be measured as total utility and marginal utility further it has two aspects one is cardinal and one is ordinal when we talk of cardinal we talk of quantity and when we talk of ordinal we talk of ranks that is order first second third like first division second division so cardinal means added addition subtraction cardinal mean numbers cardinal mean 10 20 1 2 3 and so on what is cardinal utility approach the approach was developed by professor marshall so it is called marshallian utility approach and according to this approach utility that is satisfaction can be measured in cardinal numbers that is 1 2 10 20 30 40 etc and yes addition subtraction multiplication division is possible so simply it is quantitative measure of utility conditions or assumptions the important assumption for the cardinal utility approach is consumer is rational in nature that is he she can make decisions can make choices utility is cardinal in nature and further utility is diminishing that is additional utility goes on uh, falling and further utility is independent in nature that is the satisfaction from one good does not depend on the other and yes marginal utility of money is assumed constant that is the last rupee spent the satisfaction from that rupee is assumed constant for example 1 rupee gives one chocolate two rupees will give two chocolate so second one also giving same one one unit of chocolate so that is why it is assumed that marginal utility that is last rupee spent gives same satisfaction so it is assumed here that marginal utility of money will remain constant however for for goods it will be falling and one more assumption condition is that human beings can judge others yes human beings are have judgment power on the basis of their self behavior their self observation this is called introspection method we have two laws of utility developed by professor gosen so called law first and second are law of dmu and emu diminishing marginal utility and equi marginal utility law of dmu according to this law as the quantity of the good increases with the consumer marginal satisfaction goes on falling that is if the consumer consumes more and more additional satisfaction from the additional unit will fall so the important assumption under the condition under which the law works uh, number 1 already explained the consumer is rational in nature utility is cardinal utility is independent marginal utility of money remains constant and uh, additional assumptions are quality and size 
quality quantity of the goods uh, under question should be same consumption should be continuous for example if you are consumer consuming ice cream it should be continuous for eating apple continuously you have to eat continuously prices and income are already known to you given to you and consumer is normal he is not he is in a good state of health he is mentally fit so we can explain this law with the help of table and diagram here we are taking example of consuming ice cream so first unit second unit third unit in the first column and the total utility measured in the second column marginal utility measured in the third column so as we consume first unit total utility is 5 marginal utility is 5 as the second unit is consumed total utility rises rises to 9 that is additional 4 5 plus 4 9 and marginal utility is 9 minus previous that is additional from the second one is 4 9 minus 5 5 was previous satisfaction level and now additional is that is from second this is called marginal concept so marginal utility from the second that is uh, from the second unit is 4 and so on when fourth unit is consumed total utility goes to 12 and previous level was 12 so marginal utility goes to 0 12 minus 12 so previous one that is change in total utility divided by change in number and change in number is number of ice cream 4 minus 3 12 minus 12 divided by 4 minus 3 so total utility becomes maximum at 4 and marginal utility goes to 0 further if one more unit is consumed suppose fifth unit is taken then total satisfaction goes on falling marginal utility becomes negative that means as you increase something more and more your additional satisfaction goes on diminishing so this table can be explained as the number of ice cream units are increasing total utility is rising and mu is falling when total utility becomes maximum mu becomes minimum or zero this explains the law and this can be converted into diagram uh, in the figure we can explain here like this yes total utility uh, increasing along the axis we have taken units of ice cream along over axis we have taken total utility and marginal utility so joining point wise uh, first unit consume total utility uh, how much second unit consume total utility and so on when fourth unit total utility goes to 12 and when fifth unit total utility falls to uh, 10 and uh, likely joining the mu point wise that is uh, when first unit mu uh, mu is 5 and uh, second unit mu becomes 4 and so on joining all these points we get we get total utility curve and marginal utility curve and total utility curve trend is fast increasing then maximum then falling when tu maximum mu becomes zero when tu falls mu falls below o axis that is minus that is o y uh, axis downward uh, uh, so uh, mu goes negative after the tu falls this is the law of dmu and yes the limitations of the law is based on wrong assumption uh, that is utility is assumed cardinal which is not the fact because satisfaction is uh, like happiness sadness these are qualitative uh, qualitative concepts and uh, yes utility cannot be independent because uh, if you consume one thing a satisfaction also uh, depends upon other things if you use one pen uh, its satisfaction will also be dependent on uh, some other pen so further that you can judge others it is also difficult prices and income given already taken and utility of money is taken as constant which is not possible because for the rich and the poor it differs now taking second law of utility that is law of emu equi marginal utility according to this law marginal utility of money remain same for all the purchases made by the consumer that is allocation of expenditure is made in such a way that marginal utility of money remains same so what is marginal utility of money is simply consumer equilibrium point how this is uh, attained it is simply attained by dividing the marginal utility of good suppose good is x then divide the price of the good that is price of good x so if there are two goods good x and good y then 
the imaginary relief for in, of money in both uh, for, uh, for the purchases of both goods should be same. So, so in equation we have taken MUM that is marginality of money is equal to MU x divided by px that is marginality of good x divided by price of same good and it should be equal to marginality of y divided by price of y and so on we can take as many as goods we want so simply here mum is marginality of money mu is marginality x and y are two goods sake it can be pen it can be notebook and p is the price so what is the marginality of money marginality unity of money is the uh, the satisfaction the uh, the satisfaction from the last unit of money last unit of again we have to take assumptions so assumptions almost like same in the law of dmu that consumer is rational in nature and utility is cardinal independent and utility is diminishing the marginality of money is assumed constant because in the cardinal utility these conditions are taken and yes judging power is there and here for simple analysis we have taken two goods good x and good y although the cardinal utility uh, analysis is just applicable to one good but for uh, just to understand the concept we have taken here two goods in case of law of emu so we can extend this equation uh, with the help of this table that is law that is the marginal utility of money should be same for all goods so here we have taken uh, in units of goods like one two three four and in second column we have calculated the marginal utility of uh, money for good x and in third column marginal utility of money for good y so if, uh, if we suppose that uh, price of good x is just rupee one and price of good y is just rupee one per unit just it, that, that that is good x per unit is rupee one good y is per unit rupee one and because we know that marginal utility always falls so we have taken example here that marginal utility falls from five four three five four three two one and five four three two one this is falling marginal utility of for good x good and good y and dividing by the prices we will get that is five by one 4 by 1, 3 by 1, 2 by 1, 1 by 1, 5 by 1. We get same figure 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 1. So the first condition for this law that marginal utility of money should be same. So we are getting same for first unit, second unit, third unit, fourth unit and fifth unit. That is 5 equal to 5, 4 equal to 4, 3 equal to 3. What? Marginal utility of money. Calculated as marginal utility of good. That is 5 divided by price of uh, the good they divide by one because we have taken uh, one unit of x equal to rupee one price rupee one so if we are getting to the first condition is there that e marginal utility of money is same in all cases first second third fourth but we know that consumer will be at a time equilibrium only at, at one point because at a point of time you are you have only one amount in your pocket so suppose let we suppose that the here in this case the consumer has only rupees six in his pocket in her pocket only rupees six so if we take first uh, first combination that is the first combination shows that uh, one x one y that means just two rupees second combination two x two y that is just for third combination which you three x three y here here it comes here it is written as equimarginality point equilibrium that is here we get second condition satisfied that is 3x plus 3y is equal to 3 into 1 that is 3 into 1 plus 3 into 1 that is rupees 6 that is amount is also spent in the uh, here uh, also spent in second condition so both conditions are satisfied when consumer purchases at third point that is three units of three means three units of x and three units of y here marginal utility of money becomes equal as well as the income is also spent so here we have extended this table units purchased column one mu for mum for good x column two mu and so on for good y in column third calculated as marginal utility of good divided by price of good and we have supposed that income of the consumer is 6 
and yes calculate the marginal utility of money by dividing the price and uh, uh, we can uh, take all these combination the first combination the second combination 1x plus 1y and so on but we have to uh, see the where we can attain the equilibrium so yes in third row the consumer attains equilibrium that is 3x plus 3y uh, so both conditions are satisfied here because income and yes equilibrium condition the marginal utility of money becomes same and the income also spent so only the possibility is that when he takes 3x plus 3y then the law is satisfied so let me criticize the law again based on that limitations again based on same assumption that is utility cannot be cardinal utility cannot be independent and yes it is also difficult to equalize these equi margin utility for example you cannot compare the expenditure on the marriage with the expenditure on something other because expenditure on marriage huge expenditure expenditure on car is huge expenditure so it is difficult to make comparison so yes there are flaws in the cardinal utility approach therefore it has been rejected and new approach that is ordinary approach has been developed so let me try to review that that cardinal concept is based on quantitative concept that is numerical concept and it can be measured as total utility marginal utility total utility means total satisfaction from all units 1 2 3 4 you add, go on adding all satisfaction from all units and marginal satisfaction is additional satisfaction that is if first unit is consumed that is first is marginal second is consumed second becomes marginal third consumes third becomes marginal and yes there are two laws one is dmu one is emu dmu is that is marginal utility goes on falling emu is that is in all goods cases in all purchases the consumer allocates the expenditure in such a way the marginal utility of money should become equal for him or her that is the last rupee spent that the consumer wants to spend the last the unit of rupee in such a way whatever he wants satisfaction she wants satisfaction that if 1 rupee my 1 rupee is equal to 1 toffee one chocolate i should get equal to that and so that equation is sets uh, equation uh, that is the marginal utility of uh, money is equal to marginal utility good divided by price of uh, good it should be satisfied and the amount should be allocated uh, it becomes uh, in a such a way and yes that is this is how the theory the consumer theory in terms of cardinal approach can be explained thank you